Hello and welcome to your Rochester Rundown for the week ending March 18th. Let's get right to it. This Monday, a homicide investigation in Rochester started by New York State Police, where a 911 dispatcher was the victim and the person of interest an RPD officer. Police say it was a gunshot wound that killed 35 year old Janet Jordan. That 911 dispatcher, her body was found in a home on Wetmore Park on Monday. Shortly after the discovery, police located the body of a person of interest in the case, 43 year old Rochester Police Sergeant Melvin Williams. He was in his car in Henrietta. We learned William shot himself. Police have not officially released any information about the relationship between Jordan and Williams. Nearly 800 animals, including rats, rabbits, and other small animals, were brought to Lollipop Farm for immediate care. They were confiscated from the World of Wildlife Educational Encounters in Walworth. The confiscation is part of an active criminal investigation. Investigators saw unhealthy and inhumane conditions, they say. They say some cages may have had around 100 rodents living on top of one another. The owner of World of Wildlife Educational Encounters says the state environmental officers removed the animals because of an error in licensing paperwork, not because of their living conditions or health. Donations have been pouring in to help the animals, and we have a link to help them over at Rochester First. Dot com. Rochester City Council voting no on the proposed good cause eviction law. Six no's, three yeses. The law would have prevented landlords from evicting tenants without good cause, such as tenants being a nuisance, harming others, or not paying rent. Renters, however, would be given ability to explain why they believe they've been a good tenant under the legislation's holdover eviction clause. It also would have prevented rent increases of 5% or more. Hemp farmers in New York can now apply for a license to grow marijuana. The online application portal is the next step in making cannabis available to New Yorkers. The Farm to Store initiative signed by the governor last month will make sales in New York possible before the end of this year. Under the law, conditionally licensed cannabis farmers must meet cultivation requirements. That portal can be found at ny.gov. The Rochester Jazz Festival announced its entire lineup this week. The festival will be returning after a two year pause. Festival producers say they're using the money from the Save Our Stages Act to make the headliners free and outside at Parcel 5. Some of the headliners include Spyro Gyra and Chris Bodie. We have the full concert lineup as well as the producers picks over at RochesterFirst.com. And the long-awaited Donuts Delight on West Ridge Road finally opened, complete with the ribbon-cutting ceremony. This opening has been in the making since January of 2020, but was delayed due to the pandemic. Rochester Mayor Malik Evans says the new opening will create even more jobs for city residents. It's now open for dine-in, takeout, or delivery. And the Bills made a splash in free agency, signing Star Pass rusher Von Miller to a six-year, $120 million deal. He's sure to help their pass rush. Our own sports reporter Carl Jones happened to find out the news on our high school huddle podcast. Let's watch. It was a competitive game. You know, whatever Thomas, you know, maybe giving up that goal helped them open up a little bit. Um, uh, folks at home, I'm sorry. Von Miller just signed with the Bills. I'm sorry, but uh, continue. Von Miller just signed with the Buffalo Bills. Sorry, folks. I uh, didn't want to. Um, didn't want to. Uh, oh, my goodness. And that's all for this week. We'll see you next Friday.